I am joined from Dubai by Deepa Sachanandani, the Head of Research at Century Financial. Deepa, thank you so much for joining me this morning. There is a point of view that this rally in the market is temporary and there are data uh, that are showing that uh, we are starting to build the uh, basis. When can we consider that we have built uh, a base that we can add to and we'll see more appreciation or uh, when uh, or is it maybe a temporary rally and we can see a decline what do you think so as far as the markets are concerned obviously uh, there are the positives as well as negatives uh, that we need to see in terms of data point that are affecting the markets so uh, in terms of positivity one factor if you look at it like markets actually peaked out in january this year even ahead of the rate hikes generally we see markets peaking at the time of rate hikes like when the rate hikes actually start so at uh, this time of course so markets had factored in the rate hikes from the federal reserve and the fact that inflation is transitory i mean is not going to be transitory so those factors were considered uh, by markets in advance so that was a positive wherein we see that many factors were priced in but on the other hand there are still many factors which are not being priced in yet as of now so uh, it's very common like in markets to see these bear market rallies wherein uh, you know in one day we are seeing moves of uh, 5% and up so that doesn't seem to be really sustainable if i were to talk of like what are the negatives so of course the consumer is really strong it's going out there and spending significantly but what is important to note is that the household debt i mean is rising crazily so uh, I, we are almost at a 15 year high now so that means that the credit uh, situation the credit card usage has been a lot more and at the current rates of 4 to 5% uh, you know paying off that credit could be a scary situation so that is something that you know once uh, we see the layoffs going on uh, in the job market probably that would lead to a ripple effect and uh, it could hamper the economic growth so those are signs that we need to be careful about exactly so would you limit uh, risk taking currently in the market and uh where do you see the safe haven to invest in so uh, definitely uh, as far as uh, the equity and bond exposure is concerned uh, as far as the markets right now at the current space is concerned uh, limiting the exposure to uh, risk markets especially equity uh, seems uh, the right way to go forward i certainly feel the bonds are looking very good at this moment at this point of view especially uh, quality investment grade bonds which are offering uh, yields of close to 6% so we are at the higher end of the yield uh we are expecting the fed to uh, the fed to start pivoting shortly so uh even if we start adding uh, bonds to our portfolio right now in a ladder approach it could be a decent uh, it could end up uh, providing some uh, amazing yields to our clients deepa thank you so much for having joined me today thank you so much